Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 7th to the 18th. Whenever you get to see this will be the right time for you, which means it's also a timeless tarot. Anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart, this is your reading. We're going to get right into the reading right away. We're going to do Celtic Cross here. I will show you your situation, what's crossing you. I will show you your strength at the core of the situation. I will show you what is hidden from you and the potential outcome and then I will clarify. And then at the end of the reading, I will give you a Kali Oracle card, which was divinely guided that I had to get these cards for all the collective here um, on YouTube. <laughs> so uh, let's get started, okay? So I already pre-shuffled the cards. I hope you're all doing well, Virgo. Underneath the comments, you could put, you know, hashtag Virgo team, whatever you want, or nation. And put me all your favorite emojis that are coming right next to that, okay? So let's see what's happening for you. Okay. Let's see what's happening for Virgo. On the collective and also as personal for yourself. You got the Ten of Wands in your situation and what's crossing you and your challenge is the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's something here that uh, there's a completion that's taking place. Uh, there's been a lot of obstacles along the way, struggles uh, and uh, extremely tired here. Uh, but you're laying down those rods and for a new beginning and you're, what's crossing you and your challenge is that there's a lot of options in terms of what you want to do. Uh, could be also confusion. We'll see. Okay, we'll see what's happening here. Let's look at the, uh, oops, core. You got judgment. So there's a judgment you have to do here. Uh, I think this is uh, here, here. In the recent past, you walked away from something or something. Maybe you walked away towards your nine and ten of cups. In your strength, you got the Hierophant. Some of you could be a guru, you could be uh, doing different modalities or you're helping others or other, or you're, you're, you're getting help from someone here in terms of your healing. This could be long-term in energy as well. It doesn't have to be just about work or love or commitment. Um, something definitely long-term here. Let's look at the immediate future. You got the Two of Cups. In the U position, um, you are making progress pretty quickly here, though. You know, I do see that. And there could be some type of unexpected message that's coming in. Let's look at your, uh, what you, you're not seeing at this moment, Virgo, in your environment. There's the Ten of Cups, happiness here. Uh, let's look at the hopes and fears. The Seven of Wands, yeah, you, you know, um, I don't know if you're feeling defensive about around the situation here or uh but i what i see is that you're overcoming these challenges uh, you're overcoming things very quickly here so but for some of you could feel that you're like or maybe you have to stand up for yourself too that could be another thing here so let's look at the potential outcome of course uh, you came into your own reading hermit uh so it's, this is a very powerful reading um you're taking time out here in the overall, you got the Eight of Swords. You're taking time out here to reflect, okay, to go deeper into your healing journey or just on your journey with self here, taking time out. Um, in the overall, you got the Eight of Swords. So you're feeling there's interference maybe or you're feeling uh, um, you're overthinking about something maybe too much here. And also underneath the deck, you got the Moon card. So yeah, there could be fear energy that's resurfacing at this time. Um, Blocked intuition, not uh, you know, because you're not seeing the road in front of you. You're feeling um, it's it's in the unknown energy here, right? And there's not really any time limit with the moon card when it shows up. You want things to be just again. And this is what you you're looking for, you know, so something to come into balance here in your life. Um, so, yeah, definitely here. There's a judgment that you will have to do. You're going through a spiritual awakening at this time as well. And seeing the truth, but there's definitely revelations are going to take place, aha moments. But there's definitely a judgment here. You walked away from something in the past here. Uh, like I said here, it's a beautiful, it's beautiful up to now. We don't really have to clarify because I want to know what's going on here. 
in terms of uh, in the immediate future this could be again uh, some type of uh, person coming in it could be love it could be anybody here that's coming in it could also be yourself your divine ma feminine and your divine masculine coming into one with the happiness card here or there could be a, some type of soulmate let's see let's clarify the cards and get more information Let's look at the Eight of Swords in the overall. The Death card, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot, there's something that you've been putting a lot of energy into, a lot of time. And you are trying definitely to bring something into balance here. And there is a transformation that you're going through. And maybe that's why there's a death and rebirth. You're going through a metamorphosis. Maybe that's why you're feeling stuck in your head about something. There could be also messages coming in, possibilities of someone coming in here. Um, definitely. The 8-8 eight, eight portal is important for everybody. So, you know, take a look into the 8-8 eight, eight portal if you don't know that. The Lionsgate portal. Uh, but it definitely what I'm seeing here is that there could be, like like I said, there's a transformation that's taking place, okay? So let's look at the Ten of Wands. you got the Four of Swords. What's important is to rest at this time, okay, Virgo? Because of the obstacles, because of like this uh, journey that you had to go through, the Ten becomes a One, so... But at this time, it's it's important to isolate, maybe just to rest at this time, uh, to gain clarity and to heal with the Four of Swords. The Lovers, the King of Swords. I feel that uh, would, if you take, if, if there's confusion in a situation because you can't see something here or you're not, you're feeling that you're not being divinely guided or Whatever the case is here, okay, there's there's definitely, uh, I do feel uh, that you will uh, gain clarity, okay? You're, I feel like you're observing at this time. You're, you're in, in, in terms of your choices it, with the lover's card, this could be a soulmate energy around you. It could be, it could be anybody, all right? It could be about career, it could be about work, it could be about love, whatever this means here. And uh, it's about attaining what you want here. And I do feel that after this Four of Swords energy, whatever this, this choice that you have to make here, um because i do feel that there there is going to be a new beginning now let's look at the seven of cups because there is options for you but it's important not to be confused in your options okay there could be a sense of confusion so let's look at the seven of cups here as your challenge the, the nine of cups the strength card the hierophant shows up Strong Taurus play, placements here, I do feel. Uh, there's, yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, it doesn't have to be, but whatever it is here, um, uh, I do feel that like you need to have an open heart in a situation if there's an arrival or there's someone coming in, or if this is you, that you need to open your heart to something here. It's about being vulnerable. It's important to be vulnerable in a situation here, whether it's a marriage, whether it's about. Uh, your path that you have to take it's about taking the higher road here what would your heart do what would your heart heart do in this situation because it's going to take your inner strength to go through this okay because like i said you are going through a metamorphosis you're going through a death and rebirth and there's something here that's been stagnant for a long time and you are doing a review here i do see that let's look at the judgment You got the world, the four pentacles, the knight of swords. You're making progress, which I'd like to see that. Okay, there definitely you are making progress here. Uh, 
There could also be someone coming in. I do see that too, okay? There could be a message coming in here. But someone's holding back how they truly... Someone's holding back. They're holding on, holding back. They're not saying what they have to say here. But you are going to the next level. So you are going through this judgment, whatever you have to do, whatever it's within yourself, in your patterns, in your emotions, with people around you, whatever the case is, you're going to the next level, okay? Karmically, you did something here. You closed the wheel on something. So there's success and victory here, definitely. So you are going to the next level. I also see traveling may be indicated for some of you, but definitely going to the next level in the situation here, okay? And it's important to have self-confidence in yourself. Let's look at the Eight of Cups. What is it that you walked away from here in the recent past? Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, Nine of Cups. You have you you walked away towards your nine and ten of cups, which is here for you. So there could have been a lot of um, could have been about people or situations from your past, soulmates. Uh, there was maybe disappointment, hurt, regret. Um, there could have been heartbreak. Whatever it is that there's something that you walked away from here and you're going towards your wish fulfillment. You're going through a transition, even about people not having your back here. Or uh, if you had trust issues in a situation, I feel that you resolved that uh, because you're going through a transition here and better times are coming ahead. Blessings. With the Ace of Cups, this is about abundance. It's about love within yourself. You put a lot of work within yourself here and so there could be celebrations here let's look at the hierophant in your strength you got the keys here you got the knowledge why is the hierophant here the ace of swords the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's something here that's been difficult. There's been a lot of struggle in, in the situation here that you had to go through. Uh, but I do see like there's a completion here and there's going to be a breakthrough with the Ace of Swords. So there's a breakthrough, clar clarity that's going to come in. And it's the way that you're perceiving and seeing things that are, are going to change now. I feel that there's some, some type of liberation or freedom from this, okay? You're taking your power back and you're moving forward here with the Chariot underneath the deck here okay let's look at the two of cups you're moving away from things that have been stagnant difficult whatever it is your fear any oh no too many cards too many cards let's go back two of cups give me the two of cups please and then energy for it for it goes the ten of pentacles the page of wands the seven of cups yeah there's a lot of options here there's something that's coming in tangible. It could be a gift. It could be anything that's coming in here. You've been putting a lot of work into yourself here in terms of uh, your independent and uh, your, you know, in how you've been working towards yourself and uh, there's prosperity around you. There's something long-term that's coming in for you with two people coming together, whether this is work, love, whatever this is. Okay, uh, this is the fruit of life. This could be long-term. It could be a legacy one day. It could be... Uh, an estate or buying a home here whatever it is uh, it's coming in divine timing there's something very passionate around this um you know because it's there's positive messages here but i want to know why you're feeling like even though i want to know why you're feeling confused around this so uh if there's confusion let me see i i feel that three of swords mm. Ten of Swords. World. Okay, so you're going through. Okay, so okay, let's put it this way, Virgo. You're going through a lot of like hiccups. Okay, so you're completing a lot of things at the same time. There's a completion overall that you're doing. Uh, there's a completion in the in the core that you're going to the next level. And in the near future, there's still something else that you are going to be completing and going to the next level of. Okay, so something is coming in. In terms of uh, your um, dead ends in the situation or there was something karmic here that was, okay, this is about sorrow or grief or 
could be anything here uh, where there was a lot of confusion when it came to uh, your relationships with people or situations whoever this is for you here um, there is you are going to the next level okay so there's success and victory here and with the ace of wands there's a new beginning that's taking place it's coming in with something tangible with the ace of pentacles here okay um, this is passion within you around you it could be about a project or a person there could be chemistry okay whatever it is here it's uh, here for you and uh, like I said um, it's long term with the ten of pentacles so let's look at the, the knight of swords I see that you're making progress it's 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 being shown here why is the knight of swords here the the four cups the page of cups the magician you've been manifesting uh, you've been manifesting here a lot there's there's a lot of possibilities coming in and uh, and I feel that this time that whatever that's being shown to you you're looking at it in a different way now of course at times you know the four of cups could mean rejection being bored but not in these cards these cards are really different these are the Celt the Celtic uh, cards here and I really love them something is shifting here for you it's, things are starting to get into alignment you're hearing messages from spirit very very clear about your path here and I feel that you're looking at every cup and you're looking at the past and you're looking at everything here yes for some of you yes you are and there is you know because something has been stagnant here you take there's movement here that's going to take place all right and you're making progress along your way or there could also be someone coming in but you're going to take a look at it this time you're not going to reject it let's look at the in the environment what you're not seeing around you with the ten of cups there's rainbow there's blessings here you've got the ace of pentacles the five of cups the eight of swords okay you're all you you see very clearly you see very clearly uh there was, there's something here that you're taking your time on in terms of your happiness here because i feel some of you feel that there's still attachments or patterns um maybe you are still healing your shadow part of yourself okay uh, you've been waiting for change to come in uh there is something coming in for you okay but you're feeling stuck you're in your head about something but at the same time i feel that okay for some of you you have very strong owl told him what does the owl do owl sees everything there's regret here but i feel it's being released from you so i want to see because what's showing me is that there's a release here okay give me more cards for the five of cups the eight of swords and the ace of pentacles with the ten of cups please for virgo just extra messages okay the ace of pentacles yeah confirmation the full reverse you're not taking a leap of faith some of you are not taking a leap of faith whatever this is you're not taking a leap of faith you're not jumping in okay that's fine you don't need to jump in uh, you but you're still working on yourself here okay uh, independently why happiness is first within yourself and then around you of course yeah it's come there is messages coming in there's definitely a message coming in. You're taking care of you're nurturing yourself. And there is prosperity around you. But you are releasing it because the moon is helping you with this full moon in Aquarius. As you're releasing, it's helping you to eliminate, illum eliminate and illuminate all the cups here. Okay? You have no cups here. And you're being freed or fr freed from overthinking. Anything else here? you're being asked to look at something Virgo you're being asked to look at something here whatever this is that's not being shown here it could be uh, you know uh, reunions are taking place or it could be people of the past it could have been someone from your past here and you're being asked to look at the cup you're being asked to look at it instead of rejecting it okay so let's look at the hopes and fears you've got the seven of wands you're overcoming something here but you're also standing up for your own rights 
and whatever it is that you feel that you're right about. Okay, so let's look at the Seven of Wands. The Emperor. The Six of Wands. The, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Yeah, definitely here, uh, this just means that you're taking action towards some type of commitment here, whatever this means for you. You're taking action here. Um, and there is a reward in the situation. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer energy. It doesn't, or you have cancer in your chart. It doesn't matter. Uh, it just means that you're taking your, you're taking your power back and you're moving forward with conviction here. And you're releasing a lot and removing yourself from a lot here. Again, you've been putting so much work into yourself here. There's, pros there's a lot of prosperity here around you. Let's look at the hermit in your uh, outcome. Why is the hermit here? The Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, Justice. <laughs> That's nice. And the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been you're being tested and you're exhausted, but you're persevering forward. There's completions. Okay, there's uh, reunions and celebration networking taking place here, and things are going to start taking flight. Okay, and uh, after a time of stillness. Uh, definitely here there's there's in, there's an offer here that you're looking at it's also how much work and how much value you put into yourself valuing yourself and your work here um, something is coming into balance for you things that were unjust will be just there's fairness here there's the truth and with the ace of wands there's passion within you around you there could be a project here or something that you're working on it could be chemistry whatever it is here okay there is an offer coming in it's the beginning stages of it but at the looks at it as i'm looking at the reading here you know there's abundance for you you're you're going to um, some of you might be relocating or moving again uh, or it, there's a sense of you going through a transition where blessings are there um, you're going through one you're going to the next level on many things at the same time so give yourself time as you're going through this transformation right as you're releasing as you're doing everything here and there's something that you need to look at that uh, it's asking you to look at it. Okay. It's asking you to look at something here. Okay. Um, they want you to look at it, whatever this offer is. Okay. So let's look at the Kali Oracle. Let's see what card uh, is there for you. Now, of course, uh, there's an inv invocation and prayer. You could like the video. And then come back and like write it down if you want. And you could use this at any time, as many times as you want. Or you could get the deck yourself, right? This is from Alan, uh, Alana Fairchild, Cali Oracle Guidebook. But I was being guided to, uh, divinely guided to get these cards for all the collective. Because Ka we needed Cali's help to move things along, to help. Okay. So... Let's see here for Virgo. What is that? For Virgo. Here we go. Number 26. Number 26, which equals to an 8 in numerology. Shod, Shodashi. Shodashi. I hope I'm saying it right. Again. I could say it wrong, but anyway, you know, with so many languages that I speak, uh, this is, it's impossible sometimes to get one word right. So, show, show, shu, or shu, dashi. This is your card, number 26. Ruby red with the divine juice of life. She nourishes the body, mind, and soul with vitalizing pleasure, life, and joyfulness. Goddess shu, dashi restores self esteem and an awareness of your innate value especially after a time of painful rejection or disappointment. Through her blessings, the desires of the heart can find fulfillment in new ways. She brings divine energy for the manifestation of wishes. Her presence is an indication of inner power to restore yourself and attract what you need into your life. Beautiful. Yep, yep. Okay, let's look at the uh, invocation prayer uh, and the ritual. This is an invocation ritual. Okay, Shudashi, red daughter of divine beauty, into your open heart 
all experiences of disappointment and pain of rejection, judgment and abandonment, abandonment, betrayal, and even self-hatred simply dissolve. With your loving encouragement, I release these poisons from my beautiful heart now. I accept your presence, bringing a generous, generous gift of awakening into a loving embrace of my innate beauty, value, and worth. You are a fertile garden of creative nourishment. I receive your blessing into my soul and trust in the deep yearnings of my heart to keep me focused on my spiritual growth and personal healing. This leads me towards self-realization for the, for the spiritual benefit of all beings, Jama. Imagine, visualize, feel, or intend that you are receiving a pink lotus blossom blessing. The goddess turns to face you with a gentle gaze. Her look penetrates through the confusion and instills a sense of quiet, unwavering confidence and unconditional self-reward within you. You are enough. You do not need to act in ways that suggest otherwise. You're always being led by the universe into the sacred fulfillment of your heart. There is no need to grasp or fear. Feel the relief and peace in your heart that this realization brings. Only, oh no, sorry, not only, sorry. Open your hands and receive the lotus, taking it into your heart and letting it remain there by gently folding your hands over your heart. Breathe in and out this gift of self-love. You have completed your sacred ritual. Virgo, don't forget to comment, like, and share, and subscribe, and take care, and I'll see you soon.